Northern Health historically have worked in the health and wellbeing space, ran various initiatives across the organisation. However, there were some shortcomings. So we didn't have that high level policy. We didn't have the systems approach, the evidence approach it wasn't holistic. And of course, it didn't go across all four sites. Hence, we've gone back, we've done our analysis, we've done our review, and then we've adopted the Healthy Together framework, which is that holistic, comprehensive, systems-based approach to health and wellbeing. We ask them their key concern from a health and wellbeing perspective, as well as any specifics that they wanted or that they needed. We ask them how can we facilitate their engagement and also what is going to detract them from engaging within our program. Following on from that, we then fed that back to our executives, obtained their buy-in and then started to build in place our framework and our strategy for 2015 and the rolling out of my wellbeing at Northern Health. So once we've finished our consultation process and we accumulated all of our research and we pushed it back or we presented it back to executive. Our key challenge was to identify one executive champion to help drive the wellbeing program through Northern Health and really facilitate that cultural change. The message from our CEO was quite different. She said, no, we don't want to identify one executive champion. We're all going to do it. We're all going to drive this cultural change throughout Northern Health. So it's about providing a structured program of work that focuses on key pillars such as leadership, smoking, nutrition, alcohol, active movement, financial well-being, and also psychological and spiritual well-being at work. Throughout our consultation process, when we went through those key areas and tried to identify what our staff wanted, what they needed, and how could we deliver it to them, we had a look at the framework, we understood that it was holistic, comprehensive, and we decided to adopt all five elements at the one time. We did make a, a couple of modifications and we also built upon the Healthy Together framework and have included our own couple of elements. My wellbeing at Northern Health cannot succeed without our local community and key partners and partnerships. So Northern Health has fantastic partnerships with the City of Whittlesea, the City of Hume, and also with Healthy Together from the State Department. These partners together with local communities and businesses such as local gymnasiums and other healthcare providers will help all of us collectively participate in My Wellbeing at Northern Health and also to be able to sustain and thrive local businesses and industries from a healthcare perspective. I believe we've already seen some change within the organisation even though we're only taking tiny steps at this stage and we've only just recently soft launched our program. There's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy, there's a lot of discussion already um, when we ask people to make their health pledges for 2015 and how Northern Health could support them. I think a lot of them were quite amazed that Northern Health were wanting to go to that extra step and adopt all these different elements to help support staff throughout the year and the course of their lifetime at Northern Health. The biggest change that we're starting to see is the breaking down of the silos and the communication that we're having with all the different areas of the business and identification of what they're doing, what their needs are, and how can we successfully deliver the program and get their buying and change the culture at Northern Health. The other unexpected change that we've had at Northern Health is the identification that we do have patients coming through our doors, we do have visitors as well. And then of course, the tie-ins with the community groups through City of Whittlesea, City of Hume, as well as Plenty Valley Community Health and Dianella and others, our ability to influence change at a much greater level. We also identified quite early on that our staff live, work and play and learn within the local municipalities. So the ability to affect change within our organisation is then hopefully going to start to affect the cultural change within those locales as well as the visitors and patients actually coming through our doors. But the biggest thing is to consult with your staff. Identify what their needs are, what do they want, how can you deliver it to them in the best way possible.